Good morning everyone, this is day four, last day, it's not even going to be a whole day, it's going to be like half a day and we're going to be here and yeah, everybody's packing up, I'm pretty much packed up already, uh, Nathan's packing up, he's combing his hair because he's a lad and, and then there's Adam, he's packing up as well and then there's Ross just sitting because he's too lazy to pack up and we got our professional cleaner cleaning Possibly. No, he's he's cleaned them. Yes, You're mate. My hair, isn't it? Yes, mate. Please. Look at looking good. Looking good. Gonna pull the ladies, mate. Pull the ladies on the last day. Alright, so that's pretty much it. It's day four. I'm packed up. Everybody's getting packed up apart from Ross. Because he's too lazy, as I mentioned before. And everybody's just getting ready to go to breakfast. So yeah. That's what we're gonna do gonna do in about five minutes. See you guys later. We're leaving the Isle of Wight behind and we're going back to uh, the mainland. There's Leo there somewhere. In that window, probably. Yeah, they're taking the other bus. They're Bristolian, Bristol kids. And yeah, should, we should get home around. What time is it now? Four? Seven? Probably seven, I reckon. Seven or or eight, even. So a bit longer than I expected. I was got. I think we were meant to take the three o'clock one, but we didn't get there in time. So yeah. This is mainland, everyone. Attention, not that far, but this is going to take us about thirty minutes. The lads. Ross looking swag as always. Julie, Julie, Julie's just going on play because she thinks she's, she's cool. And then there's Nathan following her because he wants to look at her ass. This was you, man. Is it really? You yeah. know, banter. Banter with the lads. Okay, so don't worry. Um, so Luke here is going to chat to you a bit about himself and about radio and what he's done for him, okay? 
Well, radio for me, to be fair, when I first went to secondary school in year seven, I was quite quiet, shy, like, I didn't really like talking to many people. And then it was actually my friend Tom that was already, like, working with Dan in radio. And uh, he got me on to do like, a little show with him. And I started liking it, and then I don't know if you remember Dan, he's a pesty, you didn't I, about coming in after, you know, doing shows, like, at school time and stuff like that. And it sort of progressed from there, and then we started presenting three to five every weekday live, which is like a big commitment. We never used to miss a single show, and if we were going to miss a show, we'd like pre record, so, real big commitment. And then, um, as the years went by, we sort of went to the Breeze and Jack FM, like Dan was saying about Mel. We did the Media Fly radio course, like presenting skills and stuff like that. And then, I think it was towards. 2013, we got entered into the Sony Radio Awards for Best Entertainment Program for Schools Radio. And I had a phone call at 10 o'clock at night saying, Yeah, we won it. So, me and my co presenter Tom have won a National Radio Award for the Best Entertainment Program. And to be fair, if you listen back to me on it now, and I think I sounded really bad, but it was really good. And then from now, I still present. Monday to Friday, 5 to 6, live. So I'm currently over in Bath College at the moment, so I go from college straight into the studio and pecked it. And to be fair, I help out with Dan with the programming, and it is literally my life, to be fair. So I, could, I don't know if I think I'll ever be able to walk away. Once you're like hooked in it, it's a really great thing to be involved with. In. It's taught me a lot about really becoming the person that I am today, and chatting, really, and just improvising. So a lot to do with radio, believe it or not, it's just being able to think of topics off the top of your head and like expand on them. So if you're going to talk about maybe you want to become a doctor or something, you can able to improvise around that subject and make up time on it. Because when we're doing radio, we've got hours to build, we sort of have to talk to like a certain time and keep all flow, run to schedule. It's, it's a lot more than what it seems, like you don't just sit there behind a microphone and listen to the music and go, oh, you're not on talk now. He's, it's all like a bit more planned out. Like, there's a lot of structure involved. So, so yeah, radio has really helped me become the person I am today. And I'm really grateful for being part of this. So. I think what's a good thing about Luke is, without radio, Luke can stand in front of you today and talk like he is. Luke, I like Luke says he was very shy, didn't have, no, didn't have any confidence at all. And to stand in front of people today like yourselves, and also in Bath College now, he stands in front of all kinds of people, does presentations. It was a few years back, so that was 1,300 people. Uh, to actually represent the school uh, I was at. So that was like big, I think scary to be fair. So that is just built wider. I sort of started roughly this time in year eight. And I did start with two friends, and then after a while I sort of grew up to just, I, I'm, just I'm now a solo presenter. I do the show on my own. Like, ever since doing radio, I have been given loads of opportunities. I mean, I managed to stand on a stage with uh, Chi Chi as well as um, Nick Grimshaw. And I did a sort of presentation along with someone else in front of, I think, 200 people over at uh, BBC, which was absolutely amazing, that was great. And also there, I managed to meet Jonathan Ross as well. It was just absolutely brilliant. Like, it's just sort of given me so many opportunities, given me more confidence to be able to speak in front of people, like my age, younger, older as well. It's sort of given me a large variety of things to do. So sort of, when I'm on radio, is it's given me a chance to sort of expand, right? I wouldn't normally be able to jump from one subject to another without radio. I uh, normally just, I'd be able to stick to one subject originally, but now I can sort of, I don't know how I do it, but I sort of go on sidetracks, right? With, like, sort of on radio, we sort of sat there, I'd be like talking, all of a sudden, some of pops into my head, I have to talk about it. Normally I wouldn't do that, normally I normally just carry on talking about the same thing, but no, I sort of, I, I don't know if I annoy people with it, but at the same time I think they like it, I, I don't know what it is, but I just sort of stood there talking happily, and I was like, oh, oh, I quite like this, I'm going to talk about this now, and I sort of go back with what I was saying before, just in case they wanted to hear more about that story, but originally I'd be like, just talking normally, just sort of like, say I have a story about, I don't know, most of my stories are about viral videos, about dogs. I don't know what it is, I just sort of love it. I just start talking about it, and all of a sudden I'm like, no, I, I keep on the subject, and I sort of go on to something else. And that's just sort of something I've learned from radio, and it's not something I picked up uh, anywhere else. It's just sort of something that's sort of latched onto me through radio, and it's just given me so much more to do.